INAF7 and what's after INAF7. You might expect that in the next three months uh, we will see another release of from the INAF. We already have quite a lot of features that are ready to be deployed but we have not merged them into the INAF7 release because for example they appeared slightly too late. There is a series of different features that we are basically have ready programmed because the developers were uh, kind enough to, to work on them. Uh, this is why in the next most probably three months that means spring i would most probably around march 2024 we will release inaf 7.1 and inaf 7.1 will just bring a few kind of interesting features into the, into the table what's important inaf 7.1 will not break in any way the compatibility with the inaf 7 that means you will be just able to upgrade from INAF 7 to 7.1 without having to tune everything because this will be just a set of additional features. There is already the milestone on the GitHub so you can see what's planned. However, we are already working uh, at least Okay, we started working on the INAF 8 and INAF 8 will change a few things uh, because every major release, uh, this is expected that we will break the compatibility between uh, different versions of INAF. What for 100% will happen in the INAF 8 is that INAF 8 will not be released for the F411 flight controllers. F411s are done. It's not really a problem with the flash uh, because the flash on the F411s and F722s is basically the same. We are currently able to have everything uh, fit on both F722s and F411s, but F411s uh, are slow. Uh, so it's a problem to run all the procedures on the F411s and still be able to fly in the in the nice way and have a relatively stable loop time. But second of all, F411s uh, have only two hardware serial ports. And with how everything progresses and what is expected from the modern flight controllers, two serial ports are just not enough. If you connect serial RX and then you connect GPS, you have no way of of connecting the digital FPV. This is why INAF 7 and 7.1 are the last uh, INAF releases available for the F411 flight controllers. Uh, with INAF 8, it no longer will be happening. Nothing changes yet in INAF 7 for the F722s. However, our recommendation is uh, my recommendation, our recommendation do not buy F722 flight controllers. They are limited in terms of the flash memory. And there is a problem even right now to fit all the required functions on the F722s. So just don't go with uh, L405s or F745s or F645s or H7s because H7s are so powerful they will like, have everything for years. Besides that, what else will go into the INAF8? No idea. We have at least half a year to figure something interesting that might go there. I know Mm, but I cannot say what. I know that there are at least two so bloody amazing features that one of the companies uh, built based on INAF. They have their own build on INAF and uh, if they will uh, finally release it, they will have to make it public. So there's a pretty good chance those changes will be publicly available. But those features are so bloody amazing. Man, I saw videos. I saw videos of those two things and they are by the way for the mostly for the fixed wing pilots. That's so cool. You have no idea. I have no timeline. I have no confirmation that this will be released. But if this will be released and merged to INAV, Ardupilot has no chance. This is much better, much more advanced than anything that Ardupilot offers.